There is a crime in the world of YouTube. I have scoured high and low, and it is proof to me that evil is afoot. The evil chairface Chippendale has been trying to stop YouTubers from posting reviews of tip comics. But I will not stop this. I remove my glasses and don my mighty mask. And let evil fear my mighty battle cry of SPOON! For now it is time for a TICK comic review! Heroes of the City. Um, this collects the first, this is a trade paperback from New England Comics. I just uh, recently picked this up. This is um, volume one. This covers the first three issues. Um, it's set in three parts. Um, the issues primarily deal with, uh, the first story of the issue is that Tick, Arthur's basically told Tick that he doesn't respect him anymore. So the Tick decides he needs to find out what it's like to be a sidekick. So he basically rents himself out to a sidekick. Uh, to be a sidekick to three different heroes in this particular series. Uh, El Flamingo, Captain Academia, who uh, actually showed up in the Paul of the Samurai series. And, um, the Mad Cow series also. And a Manian cow, sorry. And um, I believe the last one is the Super Pilgrim. Then we also get individual stories of Arthur basically going out and fighting crime on his own. And then we inter are introduced to a new hero of the city. Uh, I believe her name is. Oh, here it is. Right here. Uh, here's Mindy, a super-powered, well, not super-powered, she's got like, she's like a cheer, uh, she's a crime-fighting cheerleader, at least in the Tix world. I'm not going to throw you any spoils on that one. You'll have to pick up and read the comics yourself. You can pick these up pretty um, cheap right now, they're on sale through December of 2014, let's make that clear, uh, from New England Comics. Um... This is considered to be a sister comic to another series that they have put out, which is called The Tick and Arthur, which I have not read yet. But um, I did enjoy this one. I found the series very interesting, very entertaining. I love that they actually, um, I think they don't do it with the bananas, but actually republished the, the Tick Talk segment. So. I, I like I said, it's not entertaining. Uh, some of the stuff, I don't think it was af laugh out loud funny, but I think it's because it's various artists, and they only have like, so many pages to do stuff. But overall, I, I really enjoyed this. Um, yeah, it considers this basically a bunch of one-shots, all tied in together. It's a really good job, and if you read from verse to the third issue, it's really good because it all ties up in the third issue, and a lot of things are explained. And it sets the thing, because I believe this is was a six-issue series. So I'm looking to pick up volume two. Uh, would I recommend starting with this one? I don't really believe... I, a lot of people say you should start Bed Adams run. I didn't. Uh, I have picked up one of those comics, and I will review it after I read it. But um, overall, I really enjoyed this book. I think it was... It's a little bit of 5 50 but I got it for two fifty. It was on sale, so... Yeah, um... If you've only ever watched the cartoon, you've never read any of the Tick comics, I have been picking up some of the comics, just to see the differences. The newer series, I've heard, is pretty good. I have seen a review of it. Uh, unfortunately, no one's done a review of this one, so that's why I'm doing it. Uh, but yeah, Tick Heroes of the City, you know. It's really interesting, and I, I have to be really interested. I think probably my favorite, uh, one of my favorite villains in this series is towards the, the first issue. Uh, here it is. Here's what he says. I am the Cabana Boy, master of master of poolside crime. This pool is mine, and soon all spots where where people gather and swim or lay out will be mine. <laughs> yes, there actually is a villain here called the Cabana Boy. Uh, I don't believe he's any relation to the rest of the same name. But I will really, I really enjoy this book. Um, respecting for it is part of the Tick series. I think you may have have to read Tick and Arthur to really understand some of the stuff that's in here. I haven't read it, but 
I enjoyed it. I liked it. So, yeah, this comic gets um, six, uh, six out of ten from the American Samurai. So ne until next time, this is the American Samurai saying, "Remember, when facing evil, just remember to yell, Spoon!'" Adios, amigos.